Oh, hi. I didn't hear you come in. Well, boys and girls, this is Grandpa Frank, and uh, we're going to have another uh, craft lesson here. And as you can see, I have on display this beautiful, beautiful here picture frame made out of tongue depressors and uh, clothespins. Now, um, if you noticed, I used colored. Uh, well, some of them are colored and some of them are just plain, plain wood. Uh, you can use both. And this is a, this style I invented myself. Uh, it's very, very easy. Now, I used a glue gun. Uh, it dries real fast and, you know, it makes everything really tight. But uh, I advise you, if you don't have a glue gun at home, or if your dad won't let you use his glue gun, well then, um, uh, use Elmer's glue or wood glue or any kind of school glue. And, but make sure you use plenty of glue. So, and, and then you gotta let it dry all night. It's not gonna dry right away like a glue gun. You're gonna have to let it sit. Um, yeah, let it sit out all, well, all night, all day. And um, then it should be ready to go. But anyways, as you can see, the clues, the clothespins that I glued on here, you see, you just open up the clothespin like this and just hang a picture. And the beauty of this is you can hang two small pictures, photographs on here, or you can use two uh, the two clothespins for one big photograph. Okay, now I'm going to put it here, and you can make a you can use a, a pipe pipe cleaner to make a uh, just a minute. I have a lot of pipe cleaners here, all different colors, just like I have different colored. But anyways, you can take and put a pipe cleaner on the back and just twist it and use that to put a nail on and hang it on the wall. But right now, I'm just going to display it so you guys can look at it here on, this is an easel, an easel that holds small paintings, but anyways, you see that? We can take and display it right there. This is so easy to do, and I'm going to step by step, I'm going to make another one. And, but I'm going to use a glue gun so we can uh, make it right away. Okay. Let's put that off to the side there. Now, what I do is I pick my colors. And you can pick any colors you want. Put them in a pattern. Make sure they're even. And just lie them down flat on the table. Make sure you use a newspaper or some kind of art mat so you don't mess up your mom's dining room table or you don't mess up your school desk. So anyways, my pattern here is I'm going to do blue, red, and make sure they're even, you know, like Maybe you could get a lie another one across the top like that. You know, it's straight, and that way you can make sure they're even. That's what I did when I made this one. Okay. All right. Where was I? Okay. And a green one. I'm going to make this one. For just one picture instead of two because sometimes I might not have two pictures that I like 
And some pictures just stand alone. That's the way it is with art. Okay. Now for the um, back brace. Notice that I used two wooden colored slats on this one. I'm going to do the same on this one. And that's what holds this whole thing together. Okay. This is the glue gun. It's The glue's been heating up in here. And it should be ready to go. And what I do is either take your tube of glue and just squeeze it out along here or your glue gun. Now watch this. And I just press firmly, but lay it down right away before the glue dries if you're using a glue gun. Now, I'm going to take the other one and lay down a strip of glue along here also. And here we go. Make sure this is even and press all along the top. Now, we'll just give that a few seconds to dry. Yeah, here. Look what I did. And one more step here. We're going to take, see I got a whole pack of these black uh, clothespins and they're little. And what I do is just on, remember just one side. So all we need is just one side that we're gonna press down on the clothespin. And we just put a strip of glue along here. And now we're going to press it down in the middle. Oh, look what we did. And now we're finished. All we got to do is put a picture on it. Now I put these these little photographs, but you can use any kind. You can use a, um, uh, a small painting, a small picture, a picture you cut out of a magazine. But if you cut a picture out of a magazine, uh, you may want to glue it to a hard piece of cardboard backing to make it, you know, more stiff. Now. I'm going to take one of these off of the other one. Here, let's take Here's a nice picture here. And look what we did. Doesn't that make a beautiful frame now? Here, let's put it let's center it more. Sometimes we have to center these things. And, you know, if, if all you do is have, um, you know, just uh, plain wood uh, tongue depressors, uh, you can paint them first or color, or even better yet, don't paint them. Use colored markers if you want to make different colors. Okay. And... 
Okay, and there we have it. It's all ready. We can put it on an easel to display. Oh, here, let's take that one down. We can put it on an easel. How much time do we have? About 10 minutes. Have I reached the 10 minute limit? Okay. All right. Here. I put it on the, I like these little easels. You know, you can buy even littler ones than this at the, um, at the craft store. Um, I usually, doesn't that look good? I usually buy my crafts at um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, you know, it's there off of California um, in Bakersfield. Oh, they got all your good stuff there. Okay. Um, okay, and there we have it. And you can make, look at this one. This one hangs this way. This one hangs vertically. We got all kinds. But anyways, I don't know how much fun you had, but I had a lot of fun making that right now, and I hope you will too. So, this is Grandpa Frank saying farewell until next time.